what is up you guys it's your boy dj Lil back again with another tutorial and today i'm gonna talk about how to do a tip stop effect in reason and if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe and hit the notification button all right so let's get to it i've got here a beat that i was putting up together um i just play it You see me laugh a lot, cause Jack is on you You wish that I could fail in everything that I do I could see one day we're head up, now go to look at some more pick up High five cause we're winning, and now the joke is on you I got my mojo back, yeah I... Right, so I wanna tip effect uh, I think the intro just before the chorus comes in And uh, one thing you have to keep in mind here in Reason If you're not using the plugin that does the tip stuff for you uh, like in this case, I don't have that plugin that loads in reason here where I can tap stop. Uh, you might want to pick out the place that you want to tap stop first before you do it. Like here, I'm picking, say, the intro because I want to tap stop right here just before the chorus comes in, like here. You see, right there, I want to tap tap stop there and maybe I'll try tap stop again uh, in the middle of the verse maybe somewhere here right so I got those two sections that I want to tap stop so first I'll start with the intro I'll loop the intro and I'll go straight and say export as audio right so uh, I'll just replace these ones. I'll uh, say tip stop one for this one. Yes, I want to depress it. Yep, that's done. And then I'll go again to the second section right here. And say export as well. And I'll replace that second section. Uh, I'll say okay right so that's done now what you want to do is bring up the NNXT sampler uh, right here in reason and then uh, I'll just go ahead and create it there and then what I'll do is make sure I reset it so it's empty uh, now that is empty in fact, I will do two instances of the NNXT uh, sampler. I'll add another one because it's two sections that I want to do. Uh, I'll reset this one again. Uh, make sure I have a blank one. Then I'll go to the first one. Say, look for the samples. I'll go exactly to the folder where I saved them. And load the first one right there to the first one. And load the second one right there with the second one oh sorry my bad all right now that is done what i'm gonna do is come right here and bring up my own screen keyboard if you if you don't have a midi controller so i'll assume uh let's use it that simple right so what you want to find out is uh the middle c on your keyboard or midi controller here we're already on the middle so the middle c would be uh k right that's the one we're looking for so what you want to do is mute everything else in the original mix say mute right so you have nothing there what uh, sorry about that. So you have nothing else whatsoever when you play it here. And uh, this section as well. We will mute everything there. Right? So I'll go to the first one and say record. Yeah. 
Yeah, you can notice the volume is a little bit low, but no stress. You're gonna have to balance it off. Um, you see me love. You're gonna have to balance it up when you mix uh, together with the beat. You know, uh, that's why these sections has to be, you know, short like that. Uh, and another thing is you cannot play it from the middle. You're gonna have to play it from the start. This is what I mean. You can play. You can play it from the start. You cannot play the the thing on the middle here. It's not gonna play. It has to start from the loop. I think that's the downfall. But nevertheless, let's go to the effect now. How you wanna do the tap stop effect? It's all about the pitch bend right here. You can still do it on a MIDI controller, but we're gonna do it right here and say right click and say edit automation. And you might wanna go ahead and say record at, at this time. And this is what it does. You see me laugh a lot. Alright, I missed it. I missed it. But then, uh, that's the basic idea. That's the basic idea. That's what it does. I'll just undo this and do it properly. Uh, face. I'll just mute also the vocals so they don't disturb me when I get to uh to the main point that I wanna get. And I'll just put it closer here. And make sure that bar gets to wherever I want it to get. Right. I think it's right there. Uh, let me just make sure. Okay, it's right there. So let's go out here, record. Okay, maybe that's too much but you get the idea uh you can still go ahead in the wave uh i mean in the piano roll and edit it as much as you want you know make it sound good to your fitting right you go up here and uh, move these things right here you know make sure you have that perfect tape stop that you're looking for and uh, let's hear that how that will sound oh my bad i'm going too far I'm going too far there we go. put up the volume on this one So that's how you do the tap effect in reason and it's that simple. So I'm going to go ahead in the second section and play the next uh, loop that I exported on the vase as well. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say pull up my on screen keyboard and start from the vase there to record it. I'll say record that. You see me? Oh, that's not the one I was looking for. Where's my loop here? Not that. Let's see this one. That's the one. Okay. That's the. Oh, uh, no. I want to delete this inside here. Right. Okay. Go back to that. Let's see. Right, I'm gonna keep it short like that and uh as I said you might wanna go to the NXT and then XT and say edit automation and record right so once you got that you can either loop it if you like it uh right i'm gonna do that so let's see what we got here all right so you can go ahead just uh mess around and play with the, the uh the recording and all 
the pitch. Alright, let me just pull this further. And I think I stopped the, the, the thing on the middle. Let me just pull the knot to the end. There. And I'll just make sure I quantize it. Yeah. And make sure it's filling up the whole bar. Oh, which is not. I'm going to put it there. Right. Oh, what am I doing? I'm going to zoom out here. And just make sure this hits the end. There, that's where I want it. Right, so I'm going to play this as well. That went too long. Like I said, feel free. You can always go back and measure it back. You know, do some edits here. Uh, that will suit your liking. I. So don't feel limited to this. You know, there's many ways you can do it. You can either take it up. You know, uh, mess around with it. See what you can come up with. All right. So uh, that is how we do that tap stop effect in reason and uh yeah until next time you stay blessed and just remember if you haven't subscribed to the channel please do and hit that like if you like the video and uh, yeah see you next time